If a man goes a wandering down west, deep in the darkest Devon, a windswept, seldom heard of pocket of old England, if he goes a wandering, a searching like we all do, if he makes it over the vast bleak moors and dark woods and through the driving rain, if he's lucky, he just might stumble across a hidden pot of gold. The awe-inspiring delight cascaded before your very eyes is the city of Plymouth. Devon's playground, they call it. A hidden gem away southwest, born free from the prosperous flow of the graceful Plym. On the up and coming, hustling like a beehive she is. The young'uns all daggle around, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And as anyone will tell you, the birds are grand. Great big huge things they are, and proud as punch. Rightly so, I say. Our home. And she's in the blood. And that just about brings me to a young fella I want to tell you about. Meet Vesuvius. Constantly teetering on the brink of anxiety, he's never quite sure of himself, or anything for that matter. Now, a short while ago, his old man passed on the family business. He likes to call himself a dairy products distribution officer. But down this way, folk tend to call him... <laughs> Back in the day, the sweet melody of an ice cream van used to be cherished, respected like an air raid site. You just might say poor Vesuvius wasn't quite cut out for the modern world. <laughs> Meet Vesuvius' his bestest buddy, an enthusiastic young fella by the name of Afghan. Now, Afghan's what we call a toily snagger, but most folk would probably call him a misfit. He's inexplicably associated to the fairground, just out of town. Either they actually pay him to do what he does, or he just likes to pretend. Anyway, he means well, and I'm sure he's kind at heart. That's all academic now, though, because like it or not, he's all Vesuvius has left. Just five minutes ago, this happened. Honestly, it's not you, it's me. It's not that I don't care, Vesuvius, I just... I need a bit of space right now, and... I just... I've got lots of coursework to do. I don't really have time for a relationship at the moment, and... I just... I just think we're better off as friends, and... Anyway, uh... For Vesuvius, things just weren't looking all that peachy. Emily, where am I gonna, where am I gonna find another girl like Emily? You don't want another girl like Emily. Honestly, you've got to get over her, man. She's gonna tear you apart. Like, like, you know that film, uh, Predator, I think, where the little winky pops out of the man's stomach. <laughs> like that, like that. Do you want that to happen to you? Do you? Really? No, no. Exactly. Now I know you don't. And to be honest with you, mate, I never thought Emily was all that in a bag of uh, salt and shake anyways. I thought she was a bit of an ass. Every time I used to imagine her naked, she had these weird, like, ski slope tip things going on. Not really attractive at all, to be honest. There's much more attractive fish in Plymouth than that. I don't want fish. You do want fish. A lovely bit of haddock straight off the docks, eh? Fresh fish? Fresh fish for Vesuvius? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, let's just go home. I've got to work tomorrow. I'm knackered. All right, let's make a move, yeah? Afghan. Hey, Kimmy. Vesuvius. 
Hi. Emily. Vesuvius, this is Philip. Uh, hi, Vesuvius. Where's the rest of him? <laughs> and that's how for now. So anyway, you must have been gutted, mate. What'd you say to her? Get selfie off my way then. Well, I, I was just like, yeah, you know. Whatever. I mean, I, I think it, I was just like really nonchalant. I, I think it really upset her to, to see how much I just don't care anymore, frankly. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's like uh, that was a, a chapter in my life and, and now it's over and um, I just hope she can forgive and like learn to love again. Yeah? Yeah. But, you know, uh, until then, she'll be uh, eking her way through every day, serving ice cream to children and her goddamn fan. Pitiful excuse for a human being the whole world has turned its back on. Whoa, 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 mate. Look, I know it's all too funny now, but it will get better, honestly. You just need something to you know, distract you. You need life to kick you in the bollocks, basically. I'm sick of being a weed. No one respects me. I'm. I'm not good at anything. Afghan. You know how you told me that you used to be an amazing boxer. <laughs> It was, uh, you know, it was pretty good. The fairground fist, they used to call me. Uh, it was a while ago now, I don't like to brag about it, you know. Have you ever thought of training anyone? No, it's not my style. I think you'd be a really good teacher. Really? Yeah, good, yeah. I mean, you've got, well, you've got the gloves for it. Well, I, I don't know what to say, I'm flattered, I suppose, if you believe in me. Yeah, I mean, you, you could be my personal coach. I, I just, I need to get big and hard very quickly. Come on, I'm being serious. I'm not training you, Vesuvius. Why not? Look, mate, I need some raw materials to work with. I'm not Harry Bloody Potter. What, what, what don't I have? There's a whole list of things wrong with you. Look, okay, you don't walk right. Your elbows are too pointy out here, right, for a start. What? That's ridiculous. That's not a reason. Alright, that's not getting attention about it, touchy boy! Just don't push me, Afghan, because I'm close to the edge, alright? I'm just. Just try not to lose my head. <coughs> You're right. Yeah, fine. Please train me. I know I've got a boxer inside me. Look, honestly, Vesuvius, what did you think I was going to say? So you wanna be a boxer in the golden ring? Can you punch like a southbound freight train? Tell me just one thing. Can you move in a word like a hummingbird's wing if you need to? Ooh, that's fast. Can you bob, can you weave, can you fake and see when you need to? Well, you might as well quit if you haven't got it. Ow, oh, what the fuck was that for? Look, mate, why do you want to be a fighter anyway? It's a dark, seedy world of brutal violence that you just don't need to be a part of. Some of the people I know are fully gone in the head, man. They're like absolutely crackers. I don't care. I'm, I'm sick of being looked down on all the time. People pick on me. Come on, Vesuvius. People or children? Shh. 